card. Let's see if those jackpots keep rolling tonight. We're probably going to have close to a $50,000 jackpot tonight. If somebody can hit that cover all within 54 balls and somebody just hit it within 52 yeah. balls. What else are we doing tonight? All right. We are going to play a round of My Bar dot. My bar TV trivia at 615 at 640. We'll be playing Pride of Minnesota at 7 p.m. Easy Money at 715. We'll be fishing Derby in our large mouth jackpot starting over $1,000. The small mouth over $800. At 735, we'll be Meso Perch. And then at 750, we'll be the big cover off. Yep, that's coming up just before 8 o'clock. So we're going to take a quick break and then we'll be right back with some My Bar TV trivia. Pilot TV is on the air! Yeah, so we've got a lot of great games coming out there tonight. Uh, almost as good as this weather we've been. Pilot TV presents!
All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to Megasota Game Night. We are just minutes away from some MyBar.TV trivia. It's a trivia game you play on your phone along with us. You just go to MyBar.TV, give your email and a username. You'll be able to answer 10 questions as fast Sorry. as you can. Whoever answers the most, the fastest, is going to be declared the winner. And you get to choose the topic for next week. That yes. is your bonus uh, for winning. Now I went through these questions, I got all of them right, and now you have pressure. Not this time, <laughs> not this time. Hmm. I got all it of them was right. Really, was it last week that they were really difficult? I got some complaints over the weekend okay. that the questions were too hard. <laughs> and I hope that things are better. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I heard about that. <laughs> yes, there was uh, an issue with the questions, apparently. <laughs> so I did my best, and we'll see what happens. The problem, I think, is that you actually have to read the question and the answers and then choose one, where if you only are reading answers, these are going to be very difficult. And I think that was probably some oh. of the confusion. Okay. Read the questions, read the answers, read the answers, read the question, choose one. <laughs> We also heard that it's pretty hard to do that all in 10 seconds. <laughs> but that's why I'm asking, and I'm not answering. <laughs> Let's see. We got about a minute to go here, and we'll get these questions. These are general trivia questions. Some of them are built for who can answer the fastest. Other ones are who's got the most knowledge. I think we've got a good mix of right. different kinds of questions in there tonight. We should get a theme because sometimes it's a little bit easier. Because then you yeah, can study. When like you have to study all of Wikipedia, it's pretty hard. I think themes are fun. Yeah, you want starting with oh. the number zero or... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem with Wikipedia. It's not like reading a book of encyclopedias. Once you read those, you know you're done. With Wikipedia, you got to go back and start over again. Oh, yeah. Well, the, you got the world book. I just turned your guys' volume on, oh, by the way. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. So that's all right. We, we had such witty and clever jokes. We didn't get started. And yet. Tony was just like, no, we don't <laughs> We don't want people to hear that. What was I saying a few minutes ago? It's too complicated. For There's too many buttons in this area. <laughs> Actually, that was right. what he said. <laughs> that is not well, a joke. Complicated for me. All right, I got my Facebook logged in. You can go right on to Facebook.com slash Pilot Gaming Systems. If that's too long to remember, go to PilotGames.com, click on Facebook. And you'll be able to join us here, chat in there, complain about the questions, whatever you want to do. I think your volume's up on here. Oh, on my phone? Oh, we can hear it on here. All right, there we go. You, that one. And let's see, we've got another 15 seconds and we're gonna jump right into this one. So everybody get ready, get ready for that 54 ball bingo game coming up at the end of tonight, just before eight o'clock. That's gonna be close to $50,000. A lot of money. Yeah. And I forgot to make a specific Facebook post about that $50,000 jackpot today. Uh -oh. So I am hoping we don't hit it because <laughs> then I can make one next week. It's all on the Facebook. All right, I think we should get this game started. What does everybody else think? Yes. I'm ready. ready. Take a vote. All in favor, say aye. Nay. Aye. Aye. <laughs> All right, here we go. Starting game number one, mybar.tv trivia. Here we go. Ten second countdown, please. Good luck, everyone. And Not to Mason. I don't need it. <laughs> everybody but Mason. Everyone but Mason. Here we go. Who is the world's largest manufacturer of commercial aircraft? Boeing, AMC, Microsoft, or DeLorean? Hey, yeah. Palm tree. Oh, palm took tree it. taking Ooh, that palm one. Tree. No Mason DNS. Okay. No Moss. <laughs> no no moss. moss DNS. Oh, okay. Mason, JB96. Hey, yeah. No. Palm okay. tree. Are you hey, yeah? Yes. All right. Everybody getting that one right. Uh. People knowing the answer to this one. Of course, AMC is a defunct car manufacturer. <laughs> so is DeLorean. Wait, I thought that was American Movie Channel. <laughs> and I no, AMC is American Motor Corp. They made uh, really 
bad cars in the 80s. Wait, who made Mad Men? I think also. it was something. It was <laughs> AMC, <laughs> but a different, a different <laughs> font. <laughs> font. Uh, Microsoft also not in the uh, physical plane business. They make virtual planes with Flight Simulator. They're not in the physical plane business yet. Not yet. That's Wait right. until Microsoft convention 2020 that's right <laughs> boeing was founded by william boeing on july 15th 1916 in seattle present corporation is the result of the merger of boeing with mcdonald douglas in 1997 former boeing chair and ceo philip m condit continued as the chair and ceo of the new boeing while harry stone cipher former ceo of mcdonald douglas became the president and chief operating officer of the newly merged company now Boeing is corporate headquarters is in Chicago, I believe, and they're uh, financially based out of Delaware. It's a big deal when I lived in Seattle that they were doing all this oh. for tax reasons. Well, makes sense. Got to do what you got to do. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So I'm basing myself out of Delaware as well. <laughs> Don't know how to do that. <laughs> I did a book report on Delaware once. <laughs> all right, here we go. Question number two, mybar.tv trivia. Coming up, what college did Bill Gates attend? Hard Knocks, Harvard, wow. City High, or University of ZBA? <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to notice a theme with the questions. Uh-oh. <laughs> These are tough. <laughs> there seems to be a, a running theme right now. Well, they're not easy, apparently. Because, uh, yes, 50% of you getting that one right. <laughs> Bill Gates, he went to Harvard. I thought it was like a trick question. Me like too. maybe he didn't go to school, so I put hard knocks. You did? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, I meant that as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's I what you say when someone doesn't go to college. You yeah, go to the, go school, to the school, school of hard, hard knocks, knocks, not the college of hard knocks. <laughs> <laughs> but that's school. Yeah. Oh man, I thought I, I was think gonna. Maybe people fell for that. Yeah, they did. I wasn't. I was just trying to be funny, not tricky. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, he went to Harvard. He didn't last very long, but he did go to Harvard. Um, he didn't go to City High. Did he graduate from Harvard? No. Because that's why I put. Oh, Harvard right. Because I said, what college did he attend? Yeah, I messed up. Yep. He says he, he loves learning and he still takes online courses. Oh. Constantly yeah. learning. That's University good. of ZBA is a school I made up. Yeah, that felt made up. Yeah, here it is. Uh, Bill Gates. He likes things about college. There were smart people around and they fed you and they gave you these nice grades that made you feel smart. Uh, but he doesn't think he missed out on much by leaving early. It was unfortunate that I didn't get to stay there, but I don't think I missed any knowledge because whatever I needed to learn, I was still in learning mode. In other words, Gates says that his well-known love of reading, he reads 50 books a year, that's one a week, taking online classes, and generally expanding his mind by any means available more that makes up for anything he missed out at Harvard. I'm kind of a weird dropout because I take college courses all the time. Maybe he'll take one of mine. Oh, that's That'd right. kind of cool. Yeah. There you go. Got to get it online. Maybe I'll send him uh, a certificate, like a gift certificate. <laughs> <laughs> gift certificate. I wish my teachers did that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> send me Starbucks cards. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. Trick question on that one, apparently. Question number three coming up. <laughs> Coffee plants were introduced to Hawaii in what year? 1980, 1825, 1320, or 2008? I'm surprised by this. 71% of you knowing that one. Yes, they came out there in 1825. John Wilkinson, he's a gardener who came on the HMS Blonde in 1825 under Captain Lord Byron. Ooh. He's got two uh, titles, Captain, Captain and Lord. Lord. Captain Lord Byron brought coffee plants from Brazil. Governor Boki provided some land in the Manoa Valley on Oahu. Though coffee can be harvested year-round in Hawaii, the highest production runs from August to December. In the 2008-2009 season, there was about 790 farms on the island of Hawaii and 40 on other islands. Interesting. That's Average coffee. about, yeah, 1,400 pounds of parchment per acre. I don't know what parch parchment is. <laughs> yeah. Per per That's what it says. Per parchment? Parchment. 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 That's what it is. Believe it or not. <laughs> All right. Let's see. No Moss DNS up in the lead there. Mason in second. Palm Tree in third. Tammy joining us. Hello, Tammy in fourth place. Tristan in fifth place. Here we go. Question number four coming up. 
Which company manufactures the Frisbee and the Slip Inside? Whammo, Sammo, Blammo, or Slammo? <laughs> <laughs> I literally almost wish Blammo. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Whammo. So Whammo. Okay. Tammy, moving up on that one. Mason, did you miss it? <laughs> Missed it. Oh, oh, yes. It is Whammo. I'm hoping these questions are easier, but the people complaining about it, I don't see them on the leaderboard, so I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Whammo Inc. is an American toy company based in Carson, California. It's known for creating and marketing many popular toys for nearly 70 years, including the hula hoop, the frisbee, the slip and slide, the super ball, track ball, silly string, hacky sack, and boogie board. Hacky sack. Huh. Hacky sack. I thought people just made those at Woodstock. Well. But not all products were successful. During an African safari in the early 1960s, Mellon discovered a species of fish that laid eggs in the mud during Africa's dry season. When the rains came, the eggs hatched and the fish emerged overnight. This inspired them to create the Instant Fish product, an aquarium kit consisting of some of the fish, eggs, and some mud to which to hatch them in. Not oh, successful. Yeah, but there was a thing like that that was successful. Like, like those little seahorse things. Oh, yeah. You That's mean right. sea monkeys? Sea, sea monkeys. monkeys. I forgot yeah. about those. Did Whammo make those? I don't know. Oh, actually, we just... Instant fish was an idea conceived by Whammo. Oh, I thought I saw sea monkeys in that. I was going to be like, wait, it was based off instant fish? What? <laughs> and, you know, our friend Bob, he did kind of a thing. He took mud yes. out of the desert. Mm-hmm dry sand and he put it in a fish tank and then he filled it with water and stuff started swimming around yep really yeah it was kind of cool it was very cool was actually cool. He, he sent us a video of it i just don't know how to play a dvd we <laughs> gotta what, figure it out been moving it around really with this disc it's i really, really great want, i really want to watch it but i can't find a place to stick it i think this computer down here has a dvd in it. Ah, let's try it yep all right next question number five who's gonna catch no moss dns which astronaut was on Apollo 11 when Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon? Michael Collins, Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson, or Michael Murphy? That was an easy one because I gave you the first name. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. <laughs> and it looks like no Moss Dina still in the lead. Only 71% knowing that answer. That's actually not that bad, but who's <laughs> Michael guess. Murphy? As a name I made up. <laughs> Yes, Michael Collins was the guy. Yeah. Michael Jackson is a singer. Michael Jordan is a uh, basketball player. And Michael Murphy is a person I made up. But maybe that's who people were choosing. Maybe. Pretty convincing. Yeah. Collins is one of 24 people to have flown to the moon, which he orbited 30 times. He was the 17th American in space, the fourth person and third American to perform a spacewalk, the first person to have performed more than one spacewalk, and after Young who flew the command module on Apollo 10, the second person to orbit the moon alone. Sounds kind of lonely. Yep. Yeah. Kind of crazy. Everybody knows Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. Nobody knows the other guy. Hmm. The other guy. Sounds like a Seinfeld episode. <laughs> All right. Speaking of the other guy, let's go. Question six. On Bar.TV Trivia, what was Liberace's first name? Heinrich, Lodzio, Ernesto, oh. or Sunshine? Ooh, this is a tough one. That was a tough question. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody picked his I'm real very name. very curious. Of Waladziu. Oh. Yeah. That's oh. The, that oh, was wow. his real name. Uh, he was born in uh, Wisconsin to parents of Italian and Polish origin. There you go. That's how he got it. Waladziu. Uh, let's see. Enjoyed a career spanning four decades of concerts, recordings, televisions, motion pictures, and endorsements. At the height of his fame from the 50s to the 70s, Liberace was the highest paid entertainer in the world. With established concert residencies at Las Vegas and an international touring schedule, Liberace embraced a lifestyle of flamboyant excess both mm-hmm. on and off the stage, acquiring the nickname Mr. Showmanship. Oh. I remember watching an after school special. <laughs> and Liberace? Well, the students were obsessed with Liberace. And Weird obsession. In the after school? In the after school special, and they were trying to put on a play about Liberace. Huh. This is interesting. Yep. That's interesting. I'm going to try to take that I wonder out. if it's real or not. It's pretty close to real. <laughs> I, I would think it's real. It's a good show. <laughs> All right. No Mas DNS still in the lead. Tammy close behind. Mason back there. Hey, yeah, really close to Mason. And Tristan at 
down at the bottom of the five there, but I know we got more players out there. So let's see what happens here. A shake up on the leaderboard for question seven. Let's see what happens. Cacophobia is the fear of what? Loud noises, oh. ugliness, Sorry. chocolate, or laughter? Not sure what I was thinking. <laughs> Another 0%. Is it loudness? Was that no, one? no, it's ugliness. ugliness. Dude, that's oh. such a weird... I mean, that's... That's why How we... How do you decide what's ugly? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to figure out. That's why the first thing I do this in any house we get, or hotel room is I take down the mirrors. Because <laughs> I have... What's this called? Cacophobia. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> we get that self-deprecating humor. Yeah. Okay. No. I'm like, why are we doing that? That's not good. <laughs> it's not healthy. <laughs> I guess nobody has this fear. So good for all of you. Yes. Or at least it's not been diagnosed. All right. Next question. Let's see. Do these get easier? I don't know. <laughs> question eight coming up. How many feet are in Imperial Fathom? Six. 50, 432, or 2,000? <gasps> oh, my gosh. These are hard questions. How are we supposed to know that? What's an Imperial Nobody Fathom? Nobody, again, that's what you like, use on boats. I don't... They do uh, uh, leagues, yeah. and then they do fathoms. Fathom is six feet. I just never worked on a boat before. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, I don't know what happens on the next question. I do know the last one is very easy. All right. The last one is going to be a hundred percenter, almost guaranteed. There are two thousand six hundred forty fathoms in one league, apparently. Yeah, two thousand oh, six hundred some fathoms in a league. <laughs> that is true. That's All right, here we go. Question. question. That wasn't the question though. The question <laughs> was how many feet are in a fathom? Six. Well, I was just curious. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll save that question for next time. All right, question nine. Here we go. What was the first product ever released by Sony? VHS. Blue oh, Ray, I know the answer rice to this. Rice cooker or microwave? <laughs> I put the wrong one, but I know what it is because I actually asked this one week, I think. Oh, did you? Yeah. Well, 14% <laughs> getting that one <laughs> it's right. It's the rice cooker, It right? is the rice yeah. cooker. Yeah. I did How did you that. know the right answer? Because I asked it one but week. You clicked on the wrong one. Well, because I'm me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any other answer besides that. <laughs> yes. So let's see. What did I have there for choices? Uh, oh, yeah. So Blue Ray is fairly recent. VHS was made by JVC, not made by Sony at all. Didn't Sony have their own product to compete? They did, VHS? Beta. Yeah, Betamax. Yep, Betamax. Um, microwave, so I think maybe it came down to microwave and rice cooker is what people were guessing there, but uh, not very many people get that one right. They released a rice cooker. I don't have any fun facts on that one, but <laughs> this next question, by the way, is a question I made up all by myself. Oh, no. Oh. And oh, no. it's coming down to the wire here. Could be tricky, or it could be whoever is fastest. And oh it's going to make some I'm difference not really good at going on fast. the leaderboard. Ready to take a deep breath and get ready. Here we go. Question 10. Last question of my bar.tv trivia. Here it is. Which of the following words starts with a W? Ooh. Wrong. This one. Correct or right? Oh. <laughs> well, good job. 100% so far. Oh, it was a fastest finger question. Yes. The only one that started with a W was wrong. <laughs> In this case, it was right. <laughs> See how that works? That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes Can't wait for that B you. joke. That's what, yeah. that's what I was <laughs> waiting for. I watched Airplane and Airplane 2 over the week, and I was like, I know why Tony likes these now. Oh, yeah. Those, was that the first time you've seen those movies? No, I just had to, like, refresh myself. Yeah. Them. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Yes, those are great movies. Did you refresh yourself because you thought I was writing trivia questions that had something to do with that? Hey. No, I just wanted to watch them. Oh, okay, good. All right. Well, there you have it. That is the end of the game. Congratulations to No Moss DNS. To end this game right here. We're going to get in to the bingo games. What is our schedule for All the right. evening? Coming up at 6.40 is going to be Pride of Minnesota. At 7 p.m. will be Easy Money. At 7.15 is Fishing Derby. The largemouth jackpot starting at over $1,000 and the smallmouth at over $800. At 7.35, Meso Perch. And then 7.50 will be our 54 ball coverall. The jackpot should be starting over $45,000. Yeah, it's going to be a gigantic jackpot. Already in Pride of Minnesota, total prizes over 3000 bucks. That's must-go prizes. 
We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back.
All right, hello everybody. Welcome to Mega Soda Game Night. It is Tuesday, September 17th. Yes. And boy, do we have a lot of great games here for Season 6 of PGL. We're just trying to get that Pilot Cup, get your name engraved on it, and in the process, win some money. Look at that, over $5,000 in must-go prizes. 309 players enrolled. We've got Lene checking in on yes, Facebook. Yes, saying, Lene. let's win this. Hello, Lene. We're sending you good luck out there. And it looks like this game is already off to the races. This pride of Minnesota. 45 play 10 minute flash bingo tournament game. We also got some other stuff while we wait for this to uh, come in here. I've got an image I'd like to share. Here we got no show. Get ready for <laughs> PyCon. Remember, PyCon right. is happening on October 18th. And there's going to be a Blues Brothers look like contest. Yes. And no show is driving across the state of Minnesota looking for all the life size Blues Brothers all statues right. that he can find. <laughs> he's taking measurements and he's going to have the most exact costume that anybody can have. <laughs> so that's what he's doing out there. Competition's going to be pretty yes. stiff. We got Louie checking in on Facebook saying, good luck, everyone. Smile and sunshine emojis. All right, Louie, <laughs> good luck to you. We'll send as much luck to you as we can. We got Pat Fox jumping up into first place out there. Cancer sucks at six. PJ287. <laughs> so I say my numbers. Cheesy in second <laughs> place. Cleveland Muni. Jen in third at Mills Lounge. Chris Robb at HR Pesties in fourth place. And Seahorse, All right. one of our favorite players out there in fifth place at Monticello. We got Goonie jumping up into first place. Flower in sixth. Jim Denise in seventh place. Just Inks, one of our top players mm -hmm. out there. Where's Just Inks? Third place in the state on the leaderboard here. Seahorse was took one of the top prizes in Meso Perch a couple weeks ago. All right, Seahorse, congratulations. Look at those prizes out there. $927 jackpot for first, $618 jackpot for second place. Two big jackpots in this game. We've got Burgar scrolling by in 16th place. Nice to see you out there, Burgar. Sammy Joe in fourth. Tinker in fifth place. We've got a new game coming out next week called Monster Moolah. Mm -hmm. And actually, we will play a video of that during one of these breaks. We've got a little video. We put it on the newsletter. If you got your okay. PGL newsletter, there is a link to it in there, but we didn't even share it on Facebook. Yeah, so this will be a world premiere live video reveal of Monster Mula. Brand new game, electronic pull tab game coming out next week, probably. We've got Sarah Honey scrolling by in 20th place. Goody hold on to first place there at Chosen Valley Golf Club. Tom F in sixth, Cheesy in seventh place, Jen in eighth place. We've got Jackson second, Rose Lee in third, Pat Fox in fourth, and Twinkie. Money Sports Bar in fifth place. Say hi to J Mac if she's out there. Beth Ann in sixth. Karen in seventh place. Sammy Joe in eighth place. Tom F now in ninth place at the Red Door Bar. Remember, PyCon is coming up in less than a month, so make sure you go to pilotgames.com and register. Want yes. everybody to be registered ahead of time. We might have to turn off registration because there's so many people going. So make sure you get to that website. We don't want to turn you away at the door. Goonie holds on to first place here, though. We've got a bunch of great games coming up tonight, including a gigantic jackpot at just before 8 o'clock. It's going to be close to $50,000. We've got Not Here scrolling by in 33rd at Neptune's Bar. Anytime there's a good name, it's usually from Neptune's. Yes. They are very good at naming themselves. We got Spring Lake Park Lions Club checking in saying, let's go SLP. Good luck to you guys out there, Spring Lake Park Lions Club. You can play th for them at a variety of locations, including Monty's, Biff Sports Bar and Grill, the Roadside, Welsh's Big Ten Tavern, Sticks and Stones and Blaine and the Sunset Grills. If you see any of those locations on our leaderboard today, they are Spring Lake Park Lions. Five minutes, 50 seconds to go. Look at those yellow progress bars working their way from the left to the right. That indicates how many of those 45 plays each of these players has completed. Once it gets all the way over to the right, those players will have no more plays remaining. They'll be able to sit back, relax, 
watch the results unfold. What do we have coming up? What's our next game? Coming up next is going to be Easy Money. All right, Easy Money coming up. And we got a fish and derby game, everybody's favorite game out there, trying to catch that large mouth jackpot, small mouth jackpot, any of those golden walleye bonuses. And then we've got the main event. And a game sandwiched in between there. What? I don't even remember what game we got on the schedule after. Meso fishing. Perch. Meso Perch. All right. So we'll be doing a lot of fishing tonight. We told you at the oh. Holiday Inn. We haven't it seen you like before. It might be their first time out there. They might have just been calling their victory earlier. We told you we'd be at the top of the leaderboard. Told us something, that's for sure. We've got Stretch scrolling by, and they were one of our big winners in Fishing Derby. Oh, yeah, last week. Mm -hmm. I remember. Stretch now in eighth place at Mick's office. That's right. I remember that. What are we doing with our uh, season standings for our locations? Okay, so right now in – I'm sorry, there's a knot. <laughs> in first is Shenanigans Cheer and Chow. In second is Vic's Bar and Grill. In third is Colonial Lanes, Rochester. In fourth is Sunset Grill. And fifth is Molly's on Madison. Yeah, Shenanigans has over 3.4 million yes. points in season six. That is a gigantic amount of points. Yeah, all of our, our top three have over 3 million and our top, and then the rest through 10 have over 2 million. Yep, so it's pretty close yeah. in that one. But also in our season six standings, We've got Sarah Honey may go over a million points tonight. She's in Ooh. first place, depending on how things go. And especially in Fishing Derby, she's got a chance to do it tonight, though. We'll see what happens. Keep you informed up to the minute. Let you know if Sarah Honey is going to go over a million points tonight. Louie may also go over a yeah. million points tonight as well. Terry One, who's currently in fifth place, picked up a Mega Bar Bingo coverall or this week, last week. Last week, yeah. And speaking of, <laughs> speaking of, <laughs> I'm like, what day is it? It's yeah, only Tuesday, knows. so it Things was last week. Blend together. But speaking of Mega Bar Bingo, we just had a six thousand yes. dollar jackpot hit for yep. a twenty five cent card just before we started the show tonight. And we can play Mega Bar Bingo every lunchtime and happy hour. Get three games, twenty five cent cards, chance to win some big money out there. Cinder's taking over the lead at Eagles and Stillwater. 20,000 PGL points. Cinder's was an easy money winner a couple weeks ago. And we got easy money coming up next. So, Cinder, stay tuned. <laughs> if that's your game and you already might get first place in this one, keep that luck rolling. Told you in fifth, Terry one and fourth at the Creek Bar and Grill, Rosalia Bleachers in Maplewood in third place. Goody in second place, Chosen Valley. Got Pat Fox in sixth place, American Legion and Rice. Jacks in seventh place, BFW Brainerd. Merm at Sales, Angus Grill in eighth place, and Jody 9057 in ninth place. We got two minutes to go. Anything's possible, but it looks like most of our leaders have finished all of their plays. If you're still out there with some plays left, make sure you use all of them. Because you want to earn all of those PGL points. More info from No Show. He was at Corcoran. Is that how you say that? Corcoran. Cochran? Cochran? Go for it. Yep. Corcoran. That's where No Show found those statues. <laughs> so if you want to go find them, go out there. If you would like to ask me <laughs> yeah, about the pronunciation, I don't know. Yeah, I've never, never been to that city, and that's... I have no idea. Tristan, do you know anything about Corcoran? Yeah, that could be the <laughs> pronunciation. That's right. Ninth, Twinkie showing up on the leaderboard there. Monty Sports Bar, Twinkie was on the leaderboard earlier, then bouncing off and back on again now. Mm -hmm. Merm in eighth, Jax in seventh place, Goody in second place, Rosalie in third, Terry one in fourth, and we told you holding on to fifth place. Under a minute to go, make sure you use all of those plays, get all of those season six PGL points, try to jump up into the money. There's 15 winners in this game. 
All right, we got an interesting fact. All right, Tristan, let me put you through. What is what is going? You are live here, Tristan. Give us your fact. The interesting fact about Kokorin is that it was named after its founder, Patrick B. Kokorin, the first school teacher, merchant, and postmaster of the town. Oh, wow. And what's the current info. population out there? Uh, actually, no joke. It, it is 5,379. Oh, okay. So there's yeah. decent size. That's right. Patrick right. Uh, B. Kokorin would be proud. All right. Thanks, Tristan. <laughs> All right, fun facts coming in nonstop. That is going to do it for this game here. Time is up. We'll make it official, then we'll take a quick break. and We'll be back with easy money. Hope you guys are having a great Tuesday out there. Cruising through. We've got a few more days of summer. Yeah. Summer officially ends on Saturday, I think. There we go. Cinders taking a $924 jackpot. Congratulations on that one. We are going to take a quick break and we'll be right back with easy money.
Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to Mega Soda Game Night. We've got 45 seconds to go before we start this easy money $10 game, 45 play, 10 minute flash bingo tournament game. For 350 people enrolled, over $3,000 in total prizes last week of summer. It sure is. It's going to be fall next time we see you, but that's going to be okay. Got those PSLs out there for the PSL. The pumpkin spice latte. You can get those all over the place right now. 357 players enrolled. Summer ends on Monday. Monday? Yeah. I thought it ended on the 21st every year. No. Well, it goes by, I think, like some sort of like the solstice or something. Huh. Which shifts. Well, I can't know everything. Just know stuff. <laughs> I think that's how it works. I thought, but I thought that's how you made the calendar go by it. All right. Well, anyways. I wasn't lying. Next time we see you on Tuesday night, it'll be wi fall. Won't be winter. It's, yeah, it'll be you're fall. right. Close enough. <laughs> All right, here we go. 216 bucks for first. 184 second place. This is a 50 winner game. Lots of winners out there. Grandma D off to an early lead. Nice to see you out there, Grandma D. Grandma D is one of our top 20 players out there, I believe. Grandma D was a winner in Winter Wonderland and Muso Perch last week. All right, Grandma D having a great week last week. There's Seahorse in seven. Seahorse, nice to see you out there. Rosalie back on the leaderboard in eighth place. Seeing some familiar names out there. Card Shark, one of my all time favorite players, <laughs> favorite game shows. Card Shark, nice to see you out there. Molly's on Madison. Grandma D in second. T Mo in third. Nick at Night back on All top. Right. Nice to see you out there, Nick at Night. And Flipper was a show on Nick at Night in oh, seventh yeah. place. How about that? We got Lloyd out there at the Dog Pound Bar. Nice to see you out there, Lloyd. So you're going to say they should bring back Nick at Night, but you know what? I'm, I'm, I think it actually still exists. <laughs> it might. We, don't, we just don't have that. We don't have Nickelodeon. No. It's amazing when we went to a hotel a couple <laughs> weeks ago. We found out all the channels that we don't have that we never yeah. knew we didn't have. It's we like, kind of oh. watch like the same three things. Yeah. Oh, well, this Comedy Central and MTV. Yeah. And Nickelodeon. We don't get any of those channels. No. Basically, I watch Sports Center, which is really random. Instead of watching sports, I just watch Sports Center and Friends. Yes, we watch a lot <laughs> That's of Friends. That's all I do. <laughs> Kraus in sixth place. Judy in seventh. TJ Jace at Scarda's in eighth place and Irish in ninth place. We've got Mean Jean in 20th place. Mean Jean plays a lot of uh, Mega Bar Bingo. Yep, I think Mean Jean, well, I don't know if Mean Jean won, but I saw him way out in front of everybody else earlier today for one of the large M patterns. Nick at Night still on TV, apparently. Number one channel. Well, Nick at Night isn't program. a channel. Number one, number one program, 18 to 49. How about that? That makes sense because it plays like a lot of shows from Weird. Trist what? Like, I think Friends has even on, been on Nick at Night yeah, Nick, before. What, can you give us the current rundown of what's on Nick at Night, Tristan? Okay, well, maybe next time. <laughs> Grick in eighth place. Grandma D in ninth place. JJJM. Triple JM. Second place now at the Main Street Pub. Lloyd K. Dogmont Bar in third. Sink Groove, JC's Bar and Grill in fourth place. Hope you're enjoying Mega Bar Bingo. You come out every lunchtime at 12.30. Every happy hour at 4.30. Play some games. Win some money. They're cheap games. Just 25 cents a card. And if you're into cheap games, come out tomorrow night. Mega Wednesday. We've had some big winners out there with some low buy-ins. It is a blast. All right, Nick and I has Full House on it right now. King of oh. Queens, Friends, and a show Mom. I've oh. never heard of that one, but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I used to love all that. I don't even I know what Kenan that is. I and Kel on it. Oh. <laughs> we got Babs taking over first place. Center dropping to second place. Babs playing at Roseville VFW. Center playing at Oleander Saloon. Nick at Night in third place. So we got Full House. Did I see they had the Fresh Prince on there? Uh, I didn't. I don't know. I didn't oh. see. They should if Sorry. they don't. I moved on. <laughs> Put me in charge of programming. I get the Fresh Prince of Bel Air on that. 
Babs in first place. 16,000 PGL points going towards season six. Sinner in second place. Nick at night in third. Spence in fourth place. Speaking of shows, Spence from that one show. King of Queens. King of Queens, yeah. <laughs> So the Fresh Prince apparently was on Nick at Night before, um, but not anymore. So somebody took my idea. <laughs> so yeah, it's had a few stints at yeah. Nick at Night. So I guess they go in and out. Babs in first place, Tori in sixth, Lloyd in seventh, Triple J M at the Main Street Pub in eighth place, Sink Groove at JC's Bar and Grill in ninth place. Five minutes to go, we're halfway there. Make sure you keep using those plays. Sinner jumping to the top, but look at Sarah Honey in right. third place. Number she's got one. the boat avatar. That's right. She's getting ready. <laughs> getting ready for Fish and Derby coming up next. Sarah Honey in first place in the state. Getting a lot of points in this game. Working yeah. her way to a million points. Will she be the first player of season six to get to a million points? We will find out tonight. It's definitely possible. Yes. Oh, Sarah Honey was a winner on Mega Wednesday for the M pattern. Oh, yeah, the coverall game. Yep. Mm -hmm. We got Jeffy B out there with uh, Gino's Bar and Grill, also with the boat avatar. Is he in eighth? And is he in eighth? I don't know. Is he? I don't know. There we go. <laughs> Elsie's in third place. KT Logan in fifth place. All right, Spence who's, Spence, who's currently in seventh, was one of our low winners in the high-low oh, high game. game. Yep, a couple weeks ago. Yep. So I think we might be doing a high-low game next week. So if you're into those, yes. put this on your calendar. You're going to want to come out here and try to win one of those high or low prizes. How low can you go? How low can you go? <laughs> the lower you go, the better the chances are of winning yes. some money in that game. <laughs> in 61st place, <laughs> scrolling by, we see Yo, it's Fred. <laughs> yo, Fred. What's up, Fred? <laughs> yo, yo, Fred. Center still holding on to first place there with a bunch of plays left. Babs in second place, done with plays for the this game. Izzy in seventh place. Renner in eighth place. And Katie Logan in ninth place. Fish and Derby coming up next. It's a 50 cast, 40, or 50 cast fishing derby <laughs> tournament game, 15 minutes. And uh, we're going to see who's going to be catching the biggest fish out there in just a few minutes. And if you like fishing, stick around because we'll do Meso Perch. And then yep. the main event of the evening, that 40, 54 ball coverall, $45,000 <laughs> prize. A lot of fours and fives out there in those numbers. <laughs> that is a big one. This we'll is, see that's how I was calling bingo balls earlier yeah. today. I was all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, a Monday-ish Tuesday. It is kind of like a Monday. <laughs> But it is Tuesday. These <laughs> days start to run together when we've got so many things going on. Yeah, we're busy. We are busy. Two and a half minutes to go. Got Mega Wednesday coming up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Got some stuff planned for that. We've got PyCon coming up in less than a month. Blues Brothers Lookalike Contest. So make sure you get your costumes all ready. I still got to get mine together. <laughs> Me too. I, I plan on ready. winning. Good thing is I might nominate myself as the judge. We got Nixon <laughs> showing up in ninth place, the Roseville BFW. Yes. Well, I think the judge also makes the rules. Oh. Wow. Making it up as I go. Center holding on to first place. Not here at Neptunes. All right. We were talking about not here <laughs> earlier today, and there they are on the leaderboard. Nick at night down to seventh place. Sarah Honey is 17,000 PGL points. Working our way to the one million mark. And Nixon, another famous player of ours in ninth place. I don't know where Nixon is on the leaderboard for season six. Not here in second place. Ton of plays left. Only a thousand points back. Not here may actually walk away with this one. Nixon is currently in 10th. All right, Nixon. Nice to see you in 10th place. Moving up in the first game, I think. I don't think yeah. Nixon started out the evening in 10th place. Well, center in first place, not here in second place. Nick at night in eighth. One minute to go, one minute warning. 
you get all of those plays in. We'll take a little bit of a break. We'll jump in the boat and head off to Fish and Derby. $216 for first place, $180 for second, $144 for third place, $108 for fourth, and $90 bucks for fifth place. 50 winners in this game. Last 30 seconds coming up. Lazio scrolling by, one of our favorite players. And look at that, not here on the oh, very last play, whoa, jumping up on yeah. top of center by about 100 points. And there's Twinkie moving up Whoops. at Monty's Sports Bar. Some plays left. Yeah, quite a few plays left with 10 seconds to go. Come on, Twinkie, hit that button. <laughs> See if you can move up. Babs in fourth place. Twinkie moving up to fifth place with some plays left. Come on, Twinkie, you can do it. We'll see on the next update if Twinkie was able to move up at all. Time is up. Let's see where did Twinkie end up. Let it refresh one more time. Twinkie in fourth place. All right, Twinkie. Got to hit that button. All right, we'll make it a little more official, and then we'll take a quick break. There it is. Not here. Right. Congratulations. 214 bucks. We will take a quick break and we'll be right back with Fish and Derby.
everybody. And oh my gosh, I still <laughs> got our mega soda or our, <laughs> our easy money graphic going back up there. Let me get rid of that real quick here. We are about ready to start fishing derby, not easy money. What is going on here? There we, there go. we go. All right, e fishing derby is off to <laughs> the races. Let's see who our top anglers are, who is out there, who's going to be catching the big fish out there. Remember, we've got that largemouth jackpot over $1,400. we got the smallmouth jackpot over 400 bucks. Get that golden walleye bonus. So you've got a chance to win either one of those on any play. And look at that. Look at these points. Super Whoa. Dave on one wow. play, 24,000 <laughs> PGL points. MVD with 8,000 PGL points. That's crazy. Wow. Unbelievable to see that many points right away. But yeah. what that tells you, though, is that any one of these casts can win big, big yes. points. So you got to use sure. them all. Well, there we got shoes in second place. <laughs> Did shoes win a jackpot recently? Or? I feel I like something I remember seeing shoes, shoes name. Line win. Okay, I remember shoes' name. It's a great name. <laughs> Heidi Ho in sixth place. Seahorse, one of our good friends. Seahorse in seventh place. JMW in eighth place. And Energy in ninth place. Super Dave holding on to that lead. It's going to be tough to get up there, but, but Shoes is only mm -hmm. 500 points back. MVD in third place. Kelly in fourth. Garrison BFW and Jay Green 27 at Docks Landing in fifth place. Dale Dilly in seventh place. Seahorse in eighth, <laughs> Seahorse in eighth place. And Stensbro in ninth place. I saw Bra Bra on there earlier. Yeah, I did see Bra Bra. Bra Bra. Jay Siegel in fifth place. Kelly now in fourth. MVD in third. But Super Dave and Shoes way out there. People are starting to catch up, though. First place is going to be a nice jackpot, $800. Second place is going to be a nice jackpot, $600. And remember, you can still get some jackpots out there with that large mouth, $1,400. Saw Abba scrolling by. Abba, all right. The whole band is on one iPad. Not a bad <laughs> strategy. How many people are in ABBA? I don't, think I don't know. I think there's probably a lot. Seems like a lot. Super Dave holding on to first place in there with 29,000 PGL points. Big question on this one is how many points is Sarah Honey going to get? Mm -hmm. Is she going to get enough to go over that 1 million point total? She was 53,000 points away going into tonight. Let's see if she can do it. I think she can. Yeah. Jay Green, 27 in 8th place. Heidi Ho in ninth place. We got Tristan and Mason out there. Where are you guys fishing? They are checking everything out in Bay de Mort. Let's see if I can type all this in here. And there it is. All righty. What's happening in the Bay? Well, I'll tell you, there are way more gnats out here than we thought there would uh -oh. be. You took the words right out of my mouth. That's We're getting right. attacked over here. Tonight. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. oh. Huh? Is that another gnat? I think it's a big one coming in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> well, anyways, we'll figure out that out. Keep something. on going. Well, yeah, I'll turn oh, it off. I okay. just muted it. Oh, okay. All right. I don't know what that so was. So it wasn't a giant gnat. <laughs> Anyways, we're out here in Bay Mort where uh, there's Starship 22, Smiley, Letty Lou, Billy Oofta, Sarah Honey, Louie, Brubra, Bra, Frosty Gold Sizzler, and Valley Lane all out here fishing. We actually just came out here because we saw famous people like Sarah Honey and Louie uh, heading for the bay. Oh, wow. But uh, we, we hear somebody named uh, Super Dave in, in front. Yep. We got uh, some... Yeah, Super Dave is in front, but uh, we've got something else about Dave, too, I want to talk about. Oh, so really? Boy. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll take it back, and uh, we'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Sounds good. Sounds good. If the gnats get us, revenge us. Okay. Yes. That sounds good. <laughs> Please. <laughs> All right, Tristan and Mason out there in the boat checking things out. No, the big news is that Dave E. at Shenanigans oh. taking home the smallmouth jackpot, currently over $400. Right. Super Dave in first place with over 50,000 PGL. Look at that, 50,000 PGL points with not very many plays. Uh, but then we've got Dave E. at Shenanigans catching that smallmouth jackpot. Largemouth still out there floating around. And anybody else can hit that smallmouth jackpot too. And if more than one person hits it, that prize is split by the number of winners. But QWERTY in seventh place. That's an easy one straight across the top of the keyboard. Rand in second place. Ashley N at Rendezvous in third place. Pollock 57 at the Dog Pound Bar in fourth place. Chris Robb at HR Pesties in fifth place. 
Shoes in sixth, Clyde in seventh, QWERTY in eighth, and MVD at Clearwater Corners in ninth place. But Super Dave is just getting yeah. tons of PGL yes. points in this one. Super Dave Osborne out there at the top of the leaderboard, the top angler out there tonight. Speaking of anglers, let's see what our players are doing out there. Here's where they're fishing, if you're curious. They're all over that lake. And we can check our buddy count right there. 33% with Peter, 42% with Susie, and just 23% with Matt. <coughs> we can also take a look at our lures right there. Pretty standard for this yeah. point in the game, but uh, let's switch it up. So check it out, see what people are fishing with, see if you need to change your lure. Got Amy B scrolling by as well. Down there in 61st place, I think. Nice to see you out there, Amy B. We got about nine minutes to go. Oh, I almost got that nap. Oh. <coughs> All right. Well, I think we should check in with Tristan. Although we got Beefy. We had Beef with season beefy. one winner. Now we've got Beefy in eighth place. But let's this check in. Like a Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, it could be. Let's check in in the back in the boat. Where are you guys located? They are going to be at the dockside bar already. Taking advantage of some happy hour specials, <laughs> I take it. What's happening at the dockside bar? It is way less buggy over here. Well, we say <laughs> that, but there's still gnats all over the place. We don't know what's going on. Or we just can't tell. Or <laughs> we just can't tell. But we are away from the giant gnat that we heard earlier. And we're here with JMW <laughs> Roger Mean Gene of Mega Bar Bingo fame, uh, Big Guy, DRL, Cancer Sucks, MVD, Dale Dilly, JMW Barb, Mimi, 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 <laughs> uh, Chris Rob, Clyde Van Beard, and Carla all hanging out with us at right. the Dockside Bar. And man, I, I've just got to say, I've been hankering for, uh, for some Crystal Skull vodka, <laughs> and uh, I still haven't found any. <laughs> One of these well, days. look around. Yeah, maybe you will be able to find it. Maybe. <laughs> or maybe a sponsor will That's contact right. you. Oh. I feel like it's going to happen. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I may try to drop some lines like that, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a list. <laughs> yeah. 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 We work on it. All right. Well, thanks for that update. We will get back with you guys in a couple minutes. Sounds See good. Guys. All right. We are back here. Largemouth jackpot still floating around out there. Forgot to check and see if there was anybody else winning. Oh, oh my gosh. What yes. the heck? Huh? <laughs> oh, that must mean that somebody else won a smallmouth jackpot. That's what Let's I think take it a look means. At <laughs> what do we have there? We've got Dave E picking up the first one, Chris at Shenanigans, Chris C at the Whiskey River Saloon wow. getting one, and Tommy Boy also at the Red Door Bar picking up another one. Well, so look at three that. Three smallmouth winners. All right. And holy smokes. That is a lot of smallmouth winners. I think we've done three smallmouth winners before. Yeah. But it's uh, happened. I don't know that we've ever done four. So uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe we can get a world record number of smallmouth yeah. jackpot winners there tonight. Largemouth still floating around out there. $1,400. Let's see if anybody can catch that one. But Super Dave in first place with 57,000 PGL points. Ashley Ann in second place with 45,000 shoes in third. Rand in fourth. Chris Robb in fifth place at HR Pesties. I just saw Buckeye go scrolling by oh, along the bottom Bucks. there. O-H. I'm Ohio native. So I -O. Don't, o -H -I -O. don't tell people that often. It doesn't always get the best reaction no matter true. where you're at. So yeah, some people don't like Ohio. I but know. Especially if you're in the Big Ten. People have their yeah. favorite, favorite teams. Let's see. Five minutes and 50 seconds to go. Super Dave holding on first place there. Ashley Ann in second. Shoes in third. Rand in fourth. Chris Robb in fifth place. Chris Robb with 40,000 PGL points, but Super Dave with 60,000. We got R O H and Seven Sizzler in eighth place. Ashley and Shoes <laughs> out there. Rand in fourth place. Chris Rob in fifth place. Eight hundred bucks for first place. 
Second place, six hundred and four dollars. And we got the Sizzler, Sizzler. the Western <laughs> Sizzler out there at the Doghouse. We got the Dog Pound Bar, and we've got the Doghouse. Western Sizzler. I, I just like. saw the brew crew. Oh, I got him. Oh, I did yay. it. <laughs> I got that stupid fly. <laughs> oh, We man. can relax a little bit now. I hope another one doesn't come in here. That was an awful lot of work. All right. Four and a half minutes to go. But Super Dave in first place. Hold on. There was 61,000 PGL points. ROH in sixth place. Ashley Ann in second. Shoes in third. Rand in fourth. QWERTY in fifth place. Four and a half minutes to go. $800 jackpot for first place. $604 jackpot for second place, 537 bucks for third. We've got $403 for fourth place, and what was it, 268 bucks for fifth place, something like that. Mm -hmm. Super Dave Osborne, though. Finish all of his casts out there right away, and uh, sitting back, watching these results come in, probably sitting at the dockside bar. Yeah. Maybe picking up some of those last minute happy hour <laughs> specials. Rob in eighth place. Four minutes to go. Could take a tour here. Let me see. Let me Let's load up that. our first person view. Jump into the virtual boat. And let me see here. I might need to stand up to drive. Sometimes it's easier when you stand up and drive a yacht. I don't, yes. know, how, I don't know how many yachts you've so you maneuvered. like look out ahead. You can look out <laughs> ahead. Yep, you can see what's going on. Check things out. And uh, let's see here. I'm going to let it update just a little bit. And then I'm going to grab control here. There we go. And here we are. Let's take a virtual tour of Big Wampum Lake. There we got QWERTY out there. Uh, bad guy. Oh, man. Bad guy with 35,000 PGL points. Uh, we got Bill. It's just Bill out there at Halfley's Bar. Beefy we saw on the leaderboard earlier at the Trapper Bar. There's Ashley N. 49,000 PGL points. I think Ashley N is in second place. And let's see if we can find Super Dave. Where was Super Dave fishing? Super Dave at Breezy Point. All right, let's see. Oh, there's some fish out there. There you are. Oh, I jumping. told you. They're fishing. Golden walleyes are out there. Just saw them ourselves. NVD out there. Super Dave. There he is. Super Dave. 63 or 61,000 PGL points. Congratulations, Super Dave. And uh, we got two and a half minutes to go. Oh, we might have some breaking news here yes. coming in. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> let's see. Who is it now? We've got. Oh, I, this is unbelievable. Marky Mark at Shenanigans Cheer and Chow. Also winning a small mouth jackpot. We've right. had two small mouth jackpots at Shenanigans Cheer and Chow. Nice. I can't wait. They're going to be posting pictures on Facebook because they always do that, and I cannot wait to see what they've got. So, yeah, two smallmouth jackpots at Shenanigans Cheer and Chow. The fish are jumping out there. So congratulations to you guys out there. So we're going to split that $400 prize four ways. All right, we got to check in with Tristan and Mason real quick, and let's see what's happening back there. Oh, my gosh. What happened? Okay, so I told Mason, hey, there's people out at Eagle Island. And then Mason said, no. <laughs> and he just jumped out? <laughs> no, is what he said. And he is currently uh, about three margaritas deep. Yeah. So he stayed at the dockside. <laughs> at the dockside. So I'm out here. Uh, there's actually really not any gnats out here. Oh, good. Nice. Yeah, it's the weird part. But I'm out here with uh, Blondie. The entire band, Blondie, is out here. Wow. I know Abba's out there floating around, too. Uh, we have Pack Fan out here, who no one really seems to be fishing around. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Moon Baby, Tucker 55, High Roller, uh, Bryzo, who we all know. Yep. Uh, Kelly, Heidi Ho, Bad Guys out here, and he looks like really dark and mysterious. <laughs> uh, CNC 4210, Stensbro, Ashley N is out here, Kelly's out here, and of course, Tommy Boy is out here. He's fallen off the boat three times. <laughs> oh, no. Since I've been here. Well, Tommy Boy <laughs> was one of our uh, smallmouth winners. That's right. Yep. All right. All right. Sweet. All right. Well, thanks for that update, Tristan. We got 30 seconds. So we'll wrap it up over here. 
But I hope you find Mason sometime. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if I'll be able to pull him away from the dock side. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll talk to you guys later. Sounds good. All right. We are back. And uh, we've got just 12 seconds to go. But Super Dave was in the lead. He had a 24,000 point cast right at the very beginning. Yeah. And he never gave up that lead. He was in lead the, wh the whole entire time. Um, 61,000 PGL points. That is a ton of points. So we're going to make it official. Then we'll take a quick break and we'll be right back with Meso Perch. Any second now, we'll make it official. Hope everybody's having a great week. The last week of summer. All right, congratulations, Super Dave, 806 right, bucks. Take a quick break, and we'll be right back.
right, everybody, we are back. It is Mega Soda Game Night. We've got 342 anglers out there jumping in for Meso Perch. It's a 45 play, 10 minute flash bingo tournament game. It's over $2,700. It's rolling fast there. Over 2,900 bucks, three seconds to go. And we are off to the races. Let's see who is out there tonight. Playing. We just had a great fishing derby yes. tournament game out there. Four smallmouth jackpot winners. Golden Walleye were jumping like crazy tonight. And we also got a picture in from Tammy. Let's check in with Tammy. Tammy sending this one in there. Big easy money All winner right. tonight. Congratulations, Congrats. Tammy. Thanks a lot for sending us your picture because that makes the show more interesting. Yes. And it sends you more good luck. That's just how those things <laughs> seem to work out. So we wish you the best of luck in this game. But more importantly, the best of luck in that 54 ball coverall going to be over $45,000. It is going to be huge, big jackpot if somebody can win that coverall within 54 balls. Got Chris B in first place, Beatnik in sixth place, Chango in seventh, Grumpy in eighth place, Elsie's in ninth place. Everybody's getting ready for that 54 ball coverall. Dan 10 in second place. We got Texas, the whole state of Texas <laughs> in third place. We've got four, five, six, five, four, three, three. All right. I was going to say, is that a social security or a phone number that we should blink out? But it doesn't match the digits for any of those. So it's just a bunch of random numbers. We got Diesel in ninth place at St. James Legion. Diesel checking in a couple weeks ago, winning big, sending us a picture. Yep, 44, 56, 54, 33. <laughs> that sounds like my football play from high school that I used oh. to call all the time when I was you, the quarterback. You didn't play football. Texas in seventh <laughs> like, place. Wait a second. We got trouble I I knew in you. eighth place. <laughs> you don't remember the stories about calling 44, <laughs> 56, 54, 33? Omaha. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not sure what would happen if I ever tried to play football. <laughs> Chris V in first place. I was never that interested in it. Station G in eighth. Diesel now in ninth place. Less than eight minutes to go. 103 bucks for sixth through seventh place. There are 50 winners in this mess of perch game. Just a $10 buy in 50 winners. Chris V holding on to that lead. I One thing I can't wait for tonight is to see if Sarah Honey eclipsed 1 million PGL points. We're going to find that out after the 54 ball coverall. We may have somebody over a million points. We may have somebody with $45,000. We've got four smallmouth jackpot winners. Unbelievable. Big stuff. Bingo balls are falling in the right direction tonight. I, The day changed as soon as I smashed that net. Oh. Then we started having <laughs> lots of winners. And pictures coming in. It's just unbelievable how things worked That's out. That's true. All right. T-Money jumping up in the first place there. 13,000 PGL points at JC's Bar and Grill. Chris B down to second place. Jay Green, 27 and third place. Dan, 10 and six. Tanker in seventh. Buckeye, there you go. You're a player. Yeah. Main Gate Bar and Grill in eighth place. And KT Logan in ninth place. Chris B back on top. We got Joel Bob in second place. T Money in third. Wyatt in fourth. Sea Dog in fifth place. Ooh, shenanigans sending us pictures. I all knew right. they were going to have pictures. They always have pictures. So we're going to get the pictures of the four. I uh, Hopefully it's the four smallmouth winners. Oh, that's right. There's two at shenanigans. Yes. That's right. There's two at shenanigans. And then two elsewhere. That's right. So it will be the two people from Shenanigans. All There's right. There's Cubby Bear scrolling by in 42nd. Cubby Bear, nice to see you out there. Good friend of ours, long time friend. Hopefully you can make it out to PyCon this year. And the picture earlier was from Shenanigans yes. as well. I still have that one all loaded up. We'll just load that one up right now. There's Tammy over at Shenanigans. Easy money winner. And we've got hot off the press images coming in from shenanigans. Let's check it out. Well, it's not quite up there yet, but we're we're waiting on it. It is coming in downloading. We've got the uh, 56K modem 
Bowden. <laughs> Gotta get Bowden. that Bowden. <laughs> Hamster wheel. Oh download boy. it. Carrier Pigeon coming in with the pictures from Shenanigans. We'll be checking it out here very shortly as we work our way towards that 54 ball coverall coming up in just a little bit. There's Moon Baby jumping up into first place. The Great Escape. Miss B in second place now at the Bar and Grill. Breezy in third place. Moon Baby has been around for a while. Yeah, one-time player. Yeah. Joel Bob in eighth. Dan, ten in ninth place. Miss B in second place. Brezzy in third now. T Money in fourth. Sea Dog at the Tavern on Main in Litchfield in fifth place. Four and a half minutes to go. We've got Sarah Honey scrolling by in 58th place. All right, we got pictures from Shenanigans coming in. Oh, they're one at a time. All right, let's got load Got Seahorse scrolling by in 60th place. Let's see, let's see. We got one of the winners from Shenanigans showing up here. We'll wait for the second one. We'll put them up on the video on the big broadcast. Pac Fan <laughs> scrolling by in 65th place. Pac-Fan not in the top 50. Sorry, Pac-Fan. You're not going to get any money unless do some winning here in, a, in the end, the last three and a half minutes. <clears throat> oh, here's the second shenanigans winner. There we go. Let's download that one and get those up on the stream here. The two winners from shenanigans it was Marky Mark and what was the other one? Dave? Dave E know who's who but here we go oops another winner from shenanigans right here could be marky mark could be dave e congratulations and thanks a lot for coming out tonight sending us your picture being one of the four smallmouth yes. jackpot winners and here's the other one yeah. from shenanigans dave e or marky mark congratulations yes. long time players out there and uh, we appreciate you guys playing and hanging out with us every tuesday and congratulations, and sending your picture in usually gives you uh, some good luck. <laughs> we'll see what happens. You're going to need it in that 54-ball game because the prize is so big. Yeah. Take all the luck you can get. Two and a half minutes to go. We'll see where we end up on this one. Then we'll take a little bit of a break and come back for that 54-ball coverall, the main event. We're so excited. We're going to switch seats. Oh, I forgot. Yes. That's how excited we are about this. <laughs> we're going to we're going to switch seats to just mix it up. I don't know that we've ever done that in this show in all the 3 years we've been doing this. Have we switched seats in this I don't know on a Mega Soda game night? I don't think so. Trying to remember. You have called bingo balls before. I have, but I don't know that I've not done when it. I'm here. Not when you're here. Yep. All right, Moon Baby holding on to first place with 24,000 PGL points. We've got Anarchy GK1 in seventh, Dan 10 in eighth place, Kirsten in ninth at the High Court Pub, Miss B at the Bar and Grill in second place, Drumski in third, Sea Dog in fourth, T Money in fifth place. I haven't seen anybody from Trails Grill out there tonight. Hope they're out playing and having some fun tonight. Or maybe they're out traveling around looking for those big life-size statues of the Blues yeah. Brothers. <laughs> it's always a thing you can do. 80 seconds to go. Looks like most of our players have completed all of their plays, except for Drumskeet. Has a couple left. All right, Drumskeet is currently seventh in the PGL standings. See you out there, Drumski, coming into the evening with 750,000 PGL points. That is a ton of points for this yeah. early on in the season. We heard a lot of points out there this season. 45 seconds to go. We are inching our way towards that 54 ball coverall, 45,000 at least. It could probably be 50,000, wouldn't surprise me, if it gets all the way to 50,000. 30 seconds to go. Got 
Ramrod scrolling by in 102nd place. Ramrod playing up the spare time lanes. Yeah. Yeah, Ramrod was a coverall winner today in Mega Bar Bingo Lunch, I think. Oh, all right. Ramrod, congratulations on that big win earlier today. And five seconds to go. We'll make it official, but Moon Baby going to take home 370 bucks. Congratulations on that big win. That's just a $10 buy-in. And once we make it official, we'll take a quick break. And be back with the main event, that 54 ball coverall. Any second now. There we go. <laughs> Moon Baby, congratulations. $379. Yes. We are going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with that $45,000 game coming up here in just a second.
Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Mega Soda Game Night. Oh, yes, I'm loud. <laughs> I'm yelling. That's all right. I am too excited. This is over $51,000 in total money going back here. Somebody can win this jackpot within 54 balls. Yes. And uh, we're going to see if that can happen here in just a few minutes. 36 seconds to go. 318 players enrolled. That is a ton of money. See if we can give that back here tonight, the last Megasota game night of the summer. Yes. Official summer. Summer officially ends on Monday, apparently. So uh, one last week of summer. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you had a great summer. Yes. I know we did. We had a pretty good summer. It was really good. We were traveling a lot. Did a lot of stuff. Yeah. Had fun with the Mega Bar Bingo mm -hmm. coming up here at the end of summer. And we're looking forward to PyCon. All right. So this game is in play. We're going to check it out and see where those balls are falling. And we'll see what happens. Um, do the, that one first. Yep, six. Oh, sorry. There you go. All right. Balls are coming down anytime now. Yep, we're switching up. Nikki's on sound effects. I'm on announcing this thing. I-28. Oh, Go really first date. We have 400 cards, three balls away. 1,000 bucks for the line win, 1,000 bucks for the large M, and 49,000 for that coverall. And 33, all the threes. Oh, you're doing different ones. And 40, <laughs> naughty 40. We have 100 cards, two balls away. Let's dial that up a little bit. G40 or G56, I can't even read them. Was she worth it? We have 150 cards, two balls away. B10, Teresa's Den. We got five cards, one ball away. Justin, you pick me, Van Beard, Carmen in the keyboard. B12, <laughs> one dozen. We got seven cards, one ball away. G54, G54, where are you? <laughs> 13 cards, one ball away. And 32, buckle my shoe. 30 cards, one ball away. 30 cards away from $1,000. G47, four and seven. Got 36 cards, one ball away. Thousand bucks for this line win. All right, we've got Elsie's taking the line win and JMW. Okay. All JMW right, two winners Elsie's. on that one. Chelsea's JMW gonna split that one. 500 bucks a piece. And we're gonna get ready to move on to this large M. Another thousand dollar prize. Oh, 64. Red Raw. We got two cards, six balls away. And 38, Christmas Cake. Five cards, seven balls away. No one five balls away yet. G58. <laughs> Make them wait. <laughs> oh, 71. Bang on the drum. We got three cards, six balls away. And 37, more than 11. Working our way to this large M pattern, $1,000. Already gave away 1,000 on the line win, but that was split between JMW and Elsie's. Oh, 63, tickle me, 63. Got 13 cards, six balls away. And 35, jump and jive. We've got 80 cards, seven balls away. Still waiting for some to show up five balls away. I-17, dancing queen. <laughs> we got 17, six balls away. I-19, goodbye teens. 23 cards, six balls away. Still trying to give this $1,000 large M away. I-20, one score. We've got Alec, Grand Dogs, and 
Highway to hell, five huh. miles away. <laughs> oh, 74. Candy store. We got seven cards, five balls away. Bra bra out there, five balls away. I 25. Duck and dive. That yoohoo out there, like the drink. Oh, yeah. Yoohoo. G52. Danny LaRue. Nine cards, five balls away. Oh, 70. Three score and ten. We've got Alec four balls away. Remember, this is a 54-ball game. Trying to win that $49,000 prize. I-16. Driving a car. <laughs> 19 G cards, five balls away. And we have Alec and Fun four balls away. G-57, Heinz Varieties. And Fun was a big winner at Mega Bar Bingo oh, not that yes. long ago. Yep. B-6. Tom Mix. Seven cards, four balls away. We've got Earl, three balls away. Oh, 68, Saving Grace. Yeah, fun was large M winner. Yes, yeah. B11, legs 11. We've got Earl, two balls away. Oh, 62. Tickety boo. Oh. Got two cards, two balls away. I twenty nine, rise and shine. <coughs> Got fourteen cards, three balls, and we have Earl and T Money, two balls away. B five, man alive. <laughs> man. We got four cards, two balls away. O seventy two. Six dozen. We got J Ray at Neeson's one or Nison's one ball away. G fifty three, stuck in the tree. Still just J Ray one ball away. B fourteen Valentine's Day. We got fifteen cards, two balls away. And thirty nine steps. We've got J. Ray, one ball away. Ball 37 coming down. G59, Brighton line. We've got 20 cards, two balls away. B3, cup of tea. We've got Earl, J. Ray, Tongue Ninja, and T Money, one ball away. O73. Crutch and a flea. I'm we got seven cards, one ball away. I'm getting excited here. Got to win this cover all by ball 54. G48 for a dozen. 49,000 bucks if somebody can win it by ball 54. G55, snakes alive. We got 11 cards, one ball away. I27. Duck and a crutch. <laughs> You're using Curtis's ball calls. <laughs> <laughs> and 42, Winnie the Pooh. We've got 60 cards, two balls away. All right, and we have, oh, Missy Rents. Oh, Taking congratulations. That pattern all to herself. Congratulations, Missy Rents, on that jackpot. 1000 bucks. We haven't heard from Missy in a while, but nice to see you out there playing. Now we're going to chase down this coverall. Ten balls to go. We've already got players four balls away. Let's see. Are we going to give away $49,000 tonight? We'll find out. G51, tweak of the thumb. We've got two cards, three balls away. B7, we have lucky seven. Alec, Crispy, and Tongue Ninja, three balls away. Eight balls to go. And 43, down on your knees. We got Tongue Ninja, two balls away. Wow. Tongue Ninja's got it. And 31, get up and run. We got five cards, three balls away. And 36, three dozen. 
Ooh. We've got Tug Ninja and Missy Rents, two balls away. I-18, coming of age. No change, and we have... Four balls to go. Four balls left. B-13, lucky for some. That put anybody one ball away? Nope. We got four cards, two balls away. Town Ninja, Corti, Missy Rents, and High Roller. I-21, key of the door. We got six cards, two balls six away. Six players got a chance to go two for two. Oh, we have Alec and Missy Rents, one ball away. I-24, two dozen. Let's see, ball 54, <laughs> Alec and Missy Rents. Do we have a $49,000 winner? No. Oh, man. 49, G49. 49,000 didn't go out. That's what the call is. I-22, two little ducks. All right, Alec and Missy Red still one ball away. 2,600 bucks up for that coverall. Yeah. Still pretty nice. There we go. Oh, Missy, Missy Rents taking both of them. All right, congratulations. The large M and that coverall. That's going to be like 3,500 bucks. Congratulations, yes. Missy Rents, on dominating that coverall game. Yeah. We'll see awesome. what you can do <laughs> next week. That's going to be the important one because that's going to be even bigger. It's yes. probably going to be $55,000 come to next week. So we're going to take a quick break, and then we will be right back uh, with the wrap-up show, and uh, we'll – See where everybody ended up and see if uh, Cancer Sucks was able, or if uh, Sarah Honey was yes. able to get over $1 million, or $1 million, $1 million <laughs> points. You're trying to tell me what to do. I'm trying to do you too many do things. You can just do it if you want. No, I'll just click on this one. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to Mega Soda Game Night. It is the time for the wrap up. What an event we had tonight! What an amazing night, guys. What happened out there? As always, a great night of games we had tonight. Started out the night with Pride of Minnesota, where the top five players were Cinders, Goonie, Rose Lee, Terry One, and We Told You. After that, we started Easy Money, where we had Not Here, Sinner. Elsie's, 
Twinkie and Babs is the top five. After that, we hit the lake for everyone's favorite fishing derby with the top anglers tonight were Super Dave, Ashley N, Shoes, Queerty, and Kelly. I also want to congratulate our smallmouth uh, fishers tonight. That is Dave E, Chris C, Tommy Boy, and Marky Mark. Because that smallmouth was caught, it will reset next week to $100. That largemouth is still swimming out there, and that will start next week at over $1,500. Wow. <coughs> After that, we stayed on the lake for Meso Purge, where we had Moon Baby, Miss B, Drumski, Sea Dog, and J Green 27. These are the top five anglers. And finished up the night with the Coverall Jackpot Jungle Game 54 Ball, where Elsie's and JMW hit the line and win. Missy Rents getting that large M. And actually, Missy Rents picking up the coverall as well. Yeah, uh, she dominated that game. That's right. I can't believe she didn't get the line one, too. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that coverall was not hit within 54 balls, so that will carry over next week, starting at over 40, I'm sorry, 46,000. Wow. That's definitely going to be way over. That's probably going to be 55,000. Oh, yeah. Not more. Oh, uh, that's it for me. Tristan, what do you have for us tonight? Well, tonight was a pretty exciting night for the PGL. Uh we're just going to start, hop right in and go with 10th place, which is Keeves. Dan is currently in 9th. Marco is in 8th. Forget You D falls to 7th uh, place now from 6th place because Drumski moved up to 6th uh, place. Cancer Sucks is in 5th. Rizo is in 4th. And Just Inks is still in 3rd place. Just Inks playing out at the uh, Neighbors Eatery and Saloon tonight. Then we have Louie in second place playing at the St. James Legion. And we still have Sarah Honey in first place at the VFW in Austin. However, Sarah Honey is currently the first player of this season to reach 1 million wow. points. Wow. All right. Congratulations. All right, Sarah Honey. Oh, <laughs> in fact, <laughs> Sarah Honey it has over 10,000 10, points over 1 million. She ended up increasing her lead on Louie tonight. From like four thousand five hundred points to twenty three thousand. Whoa! Points. Wow! Take the lead. Wow! Yes. Good job, Sarah Honey. Jeez. And on our PGL leaderboard, Sarah Honey also had the most amount of points gained tonight out of anyone oh, else. Oh, really? With sixty three thousand points wow. gained. Nixon was a close second with fifty nine thousand points, and then Sloppy was our third huh. highest point winner of the night with fifty four thousand points. Uh, Grandma D is really the only player who made a lot of movement tonight, moving up from 19th to 16th, because you don't mess with Grandma D. That is right. <laughs> that. That's right. But that is pretty much it uh, for the, the PGL wrap-up. Um, congratulations to Sarah Honey for being the first player of this season to reach 1 million points. Yeah, great Pretty job cool. out there. Yes. It is a long season, though, so we'll see what happens. But what a start. Wow. I, I wonder, maybe Sarah Honey will hit 2 million. That's uh, right. It's possible. <laughs> she could be the first player ever to hit 2 million points. Yeah, yep. we've never had anybody have do that before. It's definitely possible. And she might have to because Louie is hot on her heels, yeah, so you right. got to keep playing. That's right. All right. Well, thanks for that. What an amazing evening. And a week from today, it's going to be even more amazing because we're going to have a bigger, yes. bigger jackpot for that 54-ball yep. coverall. That's right. So we'll see you yep. guys next week. See you guys next week. Remember when you play pilot games, your community wins. Bye. Bye. Bye.